Oh, this is good? Okay. Wow. All right. All right. So, one, so, one. All right. We would like to start off by giving all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakaq, Kodash, Double Understore, Apostles, the Great Millstone, Ruel, and peace and blessings to the house of David the Elect. I'm Zahab, and to my left. Hey, today we're going to go into a live stream, man, entitled, It Was Written, all right? Because everything that you're going to go through in your life in the near future, it was already written in the past in the spirit world, man. Mm -hmm. We're just playing out our roles here on the planet Earth, okay? So that's something to, to meditate on, to give solace to your spirit that whatever is going to happen, it was supposed to happen, mm -hmm. all right? Come, this is the book of chapter, like this is the book of Psalm, chapter 90, verse 9. For all our days are past their weight and thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. Hey, that's the clue right there. We spend our years as a tale that is told. Because for one, our lives and our life has already been written in the spirit world, and just for just for you know edification's sake, our lives are gonna be read about. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna be our willing is us. We're going to be legends, right? We're starting our legacy now, all right? Because we're about to receive honor after the humiliation, okay? Yeah. All right? And just to add, you know, every situation that we're going to find ourselves in in the near future, you know, the different um, scrapes, the different afflictions, it's already a way prepared, you know, for us to get out. You mm -hmm. see? It's just all about faith. See, everything is a test of faith, you know? Really... The things that we're going through, the affliction that we face, they really not real. It's like a simulation, mm -hmm. you know, for the elect, mm -hmm. and it build and it's going to build us up all the way until the time of Yahweh shot, man. You see, by the time spirit, it's time for brothers to get spiritual power. Our faith gonna be, you know, so lit. Mm -hmm. You see, it, hey, it's just gonna, you know, we're gonna flow into it. You know, and he's building us up now. We're going through our training phases now. If you watch the movie Matrix, all right, um, Morpheus is training Neo through those simulations, yep. all right, for the real thing, yep. all right. So he was training him not to go off your natural fearful instincts, not to go off what you were taught, you know, what was considered uh, impossible, yep. all right. But it was already written that we was going to have to uh, go through this, man. Mm -hmm. All right. This is I got quick one. Where it comes? The Job thirty three and um, fifteen. It says in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep, when deep sleep followed upon men and slumbering upon the bed, yep. then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction. And that's where you get the uh, hypnosis from, man. They get the left hand side got that from the most side because they they put you. They say you are getting sleepy, very yeah. very. They put you to sleep to give you commands of your subconscious. Mm -hmm. All right, but that's what the angels are doing through the uh, order of Yahweh Hashem Shai. All right, the Most High is giving you orders. He's shutting up your instructions and your subconscious while you're asleep, man. All right? Because believe it or not, you can't control your destiny. Mm -hmm. All right? Your destiny is already written. All right? That's what I'm messing with you. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. Joe. Joe. I'm, I'm sorry. Proverbs 20 and 24. Okay. All right? Yeah. So the Most High, he gives you your instructions all right, in your subconscious, man. Yep. Hey, right, so, you know. You got to think in the times to come, you know, it's already going to be sealed how you going to move, you know, in the next day, you know, you're, you're receiving those instructions. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings are the Lord. How about Shema Osha? How can a man then understand his own way? The Most High already has it set up who you're going to be around in these perilous times. So, you know, it's good to prepare for certain things. That you can't, we you know, within your own might, all right. But you're gonna be somewhere that you don't even know where you're gonna be right now, all right. And the most I has already put people on earth, all right, for the elect's sake, man. Mm -hmm. and, and he already has people uh, commissioned by him, all right, to help you, and they don't even know it, they don't even know why they exist. It's certain people here solely to help you if you need elect, man, because mm -hmm. the universe, the universe, um, yields for the uh, for the elect's sake, man, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, cool. All right. In the second edge of seven and thirty-four, but judgment only shall remain, truth shall stand, 
And faith shall wax strong. Mm -hmm. And how is faith going to wax strong? Because um, the way that the Lord is going to be providing, the way the Lord is going to be intervening, you know, mm -hmm. during our different times of affliction, man. Expect miracles. Yep, expect miracles, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how faith is going to wax strong. And you know what? You know, this is going to you know, make this you know, point. You know. Hey, and the Most High is molding us right now to the fully function of faith. Mm hmm all these little skirmishes, if you may call it, these yeah. little scenarios we go through, yeah. all right, you try to figure out, like, how am I going to get the rent money? Yeah, these little minuscule things. Yeah, those little minuscule things, but it frustrates you because yeah. you don't know the outcome, but it forces you to just rely on the most high. Yeah. Stop going in panic mode. Yeah, stop going up. He, the most high is constantly putting you in these situations so you won't bug out. He's, it is, it's repetitive over and over again so you finally realize the Lord going to work it out. Yeah, the most high going to work it out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, on um, this second age of 735, and the work shall follow, and the reward shall be showed, mm -hmm. and the good deeds shall be a fourth, and the wicked deeds shall bear no rule. Mm -hmm. So we got to understand, darkness has been ruling the earth, mm -hmm. you know, for centuries, man. You see, Esau, Edom, you know, has had his way in the earth, his influence, his deception. But see, now that's uh, 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 waning, mm -hmm. all right? And what faith is waxing. All right, mm -hmm. the right hand side is being exalted, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to remember Esau loses in the story. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't have no victory, man, no matter what it seems mm -hmm. like a particular situation, like you know, his plan is coming to pass. No, you know, he he has a a a, a, a loss written in the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. And the elect have the victory, man. You know, and we got to remember that, you know. Like I say, it's written. The mm -hmm. victory is written. It's already written. And we and we and we read about the outcome. Yep. We read about the end result. But we're, when we're actually there fleshly in that situation, that's the trial of your faith. Because yep. it's easy to know something within your mind. But when you put in that situation to try your spirit, man, all right, that's that's the real test, man. The real test of integrity, man. All right? Yeah, you was holding something on? Yeah, I remember quickly. Right. First Corinthians 15 and 55, it says, Oh, death, where is thy steam? Mm -hmm. Oh, grave. Where is thy victory? Yep. Verse, jump to verse 57. But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. yep. You know, so we already have a victory written, you mm -hmm. know, and the way that we think of death, you know, coming up, we thought death was the end all be all. Mm -hmm. The way people acted at funerals and, you know, the way, you know, people, you know, act during the holidays about loved ones. Mm -hmm. But, hey, we understand what death is now, man. You know, it's just the, the, the spirit leaving the body and returning back to the most high. Yep. And if we are the elect, you know, we're going to come right back. We're just, the elect will be resurrected, will be raised first. And you know what? And those are those selected martyrs, man. Yep. But, you know, the majority of the elect are not going to die. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's the beauty of it, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're going to go into those bodies Without going through that, um, without being recycled back on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And the ones that do go out as martyrs, they're going to go into the bodies without going into reincarnation. They say we, we all, it says, um, we all won't, like um, Apostle Paul said, he said, we all not going to sleep. Mm -hmm. We all going to be changed. Yeah. You see? Yeah. We, we mm -hmm. all not going to die, but we all going to be changed into mm -hmm. those new bodies. Mm -hmm. You see? And that was written. Because even in death, that was written. Mm -hmm. Even if, you know, we have to lay down our life. It's written. Uh, it's already written. You know? Yeah, so I'm not uh, Well, I wanted to make a point. You had that movie, Wanted. All right, going back to the most side is developing your faith. All right, he's he's putting he's put you in through so many uh, stressful situations to where you no more get stressed. Mm -hmm. So you no more, your spirit no more gets shot. Mm -hmm. You numb to um the terror. You know what I mean? You numb to these last minute panics. You know, these mm -hmm. little minuscule panics, man. All right, but the most I was trying to you, they had this movie called um, Wanted, and the character was passive. It was like a pushover or whatever, but they kept beating them up, beating them up, and then every time they beat them up, they'll wash them in some type of uh, ointment tub to uh, uh, heal them up real quick, but every time he answered the wrong question, they'll beat them up and to the point where he started hitting back. He started fighting back, but he was building, it was building his spirit up, man, all right? Same thing with us when it comes to faith, man. You have these little situations and you panic and you get stressed, but the most high keeps allowing it to happen and he keeps delivering you so you can finally see no matter how you feel in your flesh, the most high got you, man. It's already a way. Yeah. It's already a path out, man. It's already written. You know? 
Yep. All right, quick with this, Jeremiah 10 and 23. Yep. It says, O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not, it said, it is not in man that walking to direct his steps. Yep, yep. And it's not. All right, because the most high, he has a path, a trajectory for every uh, body that comes in this truth, man. Really, everybody on the planet Earth. Really, every living thing, man. He has a path for it, man. He knows, he, he set up the armadillo to be roadkill at some point in his life. Mm -hmm. All right? But that's part of the will of the Most High. The most powerful thing in existence is the will of the one who created existence, man. Mm -hmm. The most powerful thing you can accept is the will mm -hmm. of your Habash Shai. All right? And if you were going to, before you get something else or after you get that, get Revelations 4 and 11. Mm. All right? This is um, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such is coming to man. Mm -hmm. But the most high is faithful, who will not suffer you to be attempted above that ye are able, but but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. And, and go ahead, bro. Now that ye may bear it. And the reason why he's gonna make a way to escape it, going back to the, the simulation, the, the scenario was already orchestrated in the spirit world, mm -hmm. and he already had a way out. Mm -hmm. All right, he already had a way out, and he's going to keep putting you through scenarios of you to elect until you start figuring out, don't panic. The most I got me. Stay calm. Keep your collection, man. All right? He's going to create a way to escape because he already created a way to escape. Mm -hmm. He created the scenario. Mm -hmm. He created the circumstance, man. All right? Um, I'm doing Revelation. Yeah, 4 and 11. Okay, come. Cool. And then you can get Sirach 23 and 1. Okay, cool. And I brought this out earlier in the live stream because the spirit hit me earlier when I was doing a live stream with other Kazak. But, you know, I'm going to bring it back with this lesson because it hits the context as well. Yeah. All right. It's Revelation 4 and 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. For thy pleasure they were and are created, man. All right, so these different kingdoms, uh, coming to power on this planet Earth, starting with the Babylonians, the Persians, the Medes, the Grecians, the Romans, or right, the extension of the Roman Empire, all right, which is now, all right, those credit for the Most High's sake. You enjoy watching, um, what, what's that show that everybody used to watch? Oh, uh, slipped my mind just that quick. But what you, was about? Eight, not Age of Empire, that's a video game, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. You enjoy watching Game of Thrones? Mm -hmm. Well, these different kingdoms that come on this planet Earth, that's the most size Game of Thrones, man. Mm -hmm. All right, the most size into that, man. World of Warcraft and things of that nature. It tells you that he's a man of war, all right? So this is the most size game, man, all right? But it's just like every movie or a game has a main character, man. And the elect is that main character, man. Starting with Yahweh Shah. Coming down is Adam, okay? What do you want to get, bro? Um, Sirach. The thirty, the twenty third chapter in the first verse. Okay, come. Cool. Just more proof that the Most High, and hey, He's the, hey, He's the director. All right. It's the Book of Sirach, chapter twenty three, verse one. O Lord, Father and Governor of all my life, lead me not to their counsels, and let me not fall by them. All right. Yep. And you can start back from the beginning again. Come. Cool. The reason. Sirach twenty three, and one. O Lord, Father and Governor. Of all my life. Father and governor of all my life. The mo what does that mean when it says, Oh, Yahweh, father and governor of my whole life, man? All right, the Most High has governed your life. Mm -hmm. He's written a script for your life, man. All right? He had you set up to work this job for a particular amount of years to meet this person and to be helped by this person, all right? To be grown up into this position, all right? These different things are going to happen in your life. It's going to mold your character. Because he's going to get this, he's going to use these different situations to extract a certain character flaw out of you, man. All right? Mm -hmm. And all that was set up, man. All right, your dad wasn't there, your mom wasn't there, and the, mom, the most I did that, man. Mm -hmm. All right? This car breakdown. down. Yeah. But he got a new one already prepared for you. Yeah, hey, you know? this, 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 your woman situation, just you just couldn't make it work. But next thing you know, he, he has something different for you, man, something better, man. All right? But a lot of times you may realize, so well, why did the Most High give me that at first? Hey, man, you have to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You got to appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to appreciate the kingdom because we're living in this hellhole, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything you do is a build, though. 
Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. everything that that, that 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 we're experiencing is a build up, you know, to a particular moment, to a particular time. You know, when it's gonna be time to execute, man, the most high. I said that's why, you know, he put brothers to be in a, you know, in a serious spirit. You know, he put brothers to kind of be in a separate spirit away from everyone because the Lord is dealing with brothers. He's mm-hmm. dealing with our spirits, man. He push you through, you know, different afflictions, you know, because the Lord is dealing, man. He he needs you to be a certain way, all right, for the times that we coming in. And every brother, you know, got their different, you know, tests that they're gonna have to go through, you know. So each brother is has different training. Mm-hmm. You see that why you say like some brothers got, you know, one, but some brothers don't have a one. You know, some brothers, you know, kind of well out financially. Some brothers, you know, the check the check. Yeah. yeah. So at, <clears throat> at the end of the day, each brother's being groomed to deal with their um, uh, own personal, you know, trial that they're going to have to face, you know, in these times to come. Uh, the brother brought out Sirach 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient without change to a lower state. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, as you as you go on in this truth, man, time goes on. You realize that the most high, hey, he, that's how he molds you, all right? Mm-hmm. All right, you know. I'm the, finish that. Yep. It says, it says, um, oh, Father, I said, it's like this, Rock 23 and 1, I said, oh, Lord, Father and Governor of my whole life, lead me not to their counsels and let, um, and let me not fall by them. Yeah, their counsel is your own mind. Yep. It's your devices of your flesh. Yep. Which is a very beautiful prayer. Are you just going to get another scripture? No, I got it. You want to get it? Oh, you know that scripture where it goes into glory unto glory? Oh, you mean correct it. Yeah, yeah man, correct it. Glory to glory. You're going to go from glory to glory. All right, because the Most High is building you up, man. He's building your faith to be stronger and stronger, man. Because he's trained. This is basic training for the times to come. It's hard times are coming, man. But the best, the best thing you can do is to be built up for faith. All right, that's the greatest thing you can have in a time to come. Is understanding of what's going on and faith that the Most High is gonna see you through it, man. And you have to guard your faith because other people's perception of what's going on is gonna challenge your faith, man. Mm-hmm. All right, because they're gonna want you to get, the, uh, they're gonna want you to get the uh, Maxine. They're gonna want, <laughs> they want you to get this device because they're gonna, they're gonna be shaking up, man. What, 95% of American population can't function without the normalcy that America gives them? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, people going to bug out, you know, yeah. because Esau has really, you know, weaponized convenience. Yeah. Because that's yeah. going to be his main leverage, mm-hmm. you know, in the time to come. And that's why, you know, like I say, our spirit has to be detached, you know, because the scripture describe America, you know, is um, a place of um, dwelling in pleasures without care. Mm-hmm. You see, and that's why the Lord, you know, detached that from their mindset, man. You know, we got to really tap in, like you say, expect miracles, man. Expect, you know, to not eat for a few days but not mm-hmm. be hungry. Mm-hmm. You know, expect, all right, for, for you know, the cherish to intervene in certain confrontations that yeah. you might have. Yep. All right. Expect to be outside of your house, man. You know, expect for a cherry. If you are in the woods, you got to go, you know, just go. Expect a cherry uh, to be hovering over you, guiding you in whatever, whatever caravan of people you have with you, man. It did it before. It did it before? Yeah. All right. The Second Corinthians 3 and 18, it says, But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, mm-hmm. the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image mm-hmm. from glory to glory, yep. even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Yep, yep. And that's what happens in this faith. And we get built up from glory to glory, man. Glory to glory, man. Our faith, that's the most, that's the, that's what the most high is working on the most in this truth is your faith, man. Because he's building you up for the, the for the for the judgment of the world, man. Mm-hmm. Even though it's the even though it's the world's judgment, we still gonna be here and we have our path too. Yep. You know, we have our trial too, man. All right. Because this uh, you know, this the this the this our last, you know, purification process. If we are the elect. This is our last purification process ever in the flesh, you know? So to, in order to remove impurities, you know, from fire, I mean, from uh, gold, the fire has to be turned up at an extreme level. Mm-hmm. You see, in the fire, all right, the description speak of, speaks of this affliction, you see? So the affliction has to be magnified in order to remove the impurities, man. There's particular things just within us 
that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, all right, has to move, you know, before he really deals, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why, you know, it's, it's, it's good to, you know, show restraint and discipline now, you know, so the Lord can deal. See, the more of the flesh we move out the way, the more of the impurities, you know, mm -hmm. that we remove, the, the, the purer <coughs> our vessel is, you know, for the Lord to deal, man. You see? Mm -hmm. Um, I got one more, bro. Okay. Go on, go on. That's what it's all about, man. Being, being built up from glory to glory and just being in tune with our power source, man. Because right, the world has their little source. They're going to have their little bug out bags, whatever, but it's not going to work or they're going to run out after a period of time. But the most powerful thing you can have is faith. Okay. All right? This is on James 1 and 2. It says, my brethren, counting all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Mm -hmm. You see? So us being tried, you know, putting us uh, different circumstances, you know, that works, you know, our faith. You see? That, 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 that works our patience. That grows our patience and grows our faith, man. All right? It says, verse 3, it says, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that time that we're going through is affliction, all right, being chastening, whatever we got to go through, all right, the time that we are within that affliction, the most high is working. Mm -hmm. See, you're not, like you said, you're not going through it mm -hmm. just because, you know, the most high wants some amusement or some entertainment. Mm -hmm. No, he's putting you through there. He's putting us through these things. Why? Because he's working. See, he can work, you know, even with um like a a, a a blacksmith. In order for him to mold, you know, the iron, he has to heat it. Mm -hmm. And then he can beat it mm -hmm. into the shape he wants. But first he got to put it in that heat. Yep. Then he beat it into the shape he wants. Then he, it can cool down after mm -hmm. it's finished. Yep. You see? Mm -hmm. So the Lord is going to put us in that, that intense heat, these afflictions, mm -hmm. so he can he can beat us mm -hmm. into what he want, you and know? Then, and then we'll, cool it down, man. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you get like a, a, a clay's vessel, like a potter's vessel, and you gloss it, you put the gloss on there, <clears> you put it in the kiln, when you take it out the kiln, it's glowing. Mm -hmm. Even with the blacksmith, when you take that tool out the, the, the kiln, that the furnace, it has a glow to it. And hey, we're gonna have a goal to us, man. Mm -hmm. All right. But hey, was that it on that? Yeah, was it. Hey, well, with that, we hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, we want to give all of them glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodas, double understore our apostles, a great millstone, we well. Peace and blessings to the house of David, the elect. Until the next time, a Bible ball, Shalom. Shalom.